In this project you can follow along as I raise the uh, height of my trailer by moving the axle from above the springs to below the springs. And you'll see how this will give me additional height. And my concern was that I'm at least uh, a little over 30 feet long with an extension on my back bumper here to hold my uh, storage box. And I'm concerned about scraping going in and out of uh, gas stations or uh, areas where there's a bit of a dip. The other thing that concerns me is that I use this trailer a lot in the backcountry on logging roads and we often get into areas where it's quite a dip to go through so I decided this year I'm not going to take any more chances at bottoming out or tearing off my plumbing. Before starting the lift I uh, used my T-square and I marked it off with tape as to the original height and I did that the same for the uh, the plumbing underneath the trailer as well and this is just to compare it at the end of the project to see what sort of lift I get out of this transfer of uh, axle. The method I used to elevate the trailer and I needed some uh, considerable elevation to work was to run it up on my uh, side leveling ramps. I have two sets of these and uh, using a concrete block to support the other tire so that raised it up uh, fairly quickly. Now working under the trailer elevated to this height I wanted to make sure that it was safe and so I took every precaution to try and uh, make the trailer so that it was stable. I used uh, blocks and uh, uh, jack stands as well as using the trailer's own stabilizer jacks and once I got it up into position uh, it was as solid as a rock so I had felt fairly confident that this uh, was a safe area to work and it never gave me a bit of trouble throughout the whole project. I now have both axles unbolted and pulled out into the driveway where I can work on them and in this uh, clip I'm just uh, testing to see how the uh, new cradles are going to fit on top of the axle. This is where our new our springs are going to sit. With everything removed this project looks a little scarier than you think but actually it was pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of unbolting the uh, axles, lowering the springs down and to do that safely I used uh, jacks, hydraulic jack, I have a little air jack that I built out of a truck airbag and uh, I by and large did this whole project by myself with very little help from my son. He was working on other things at the time and it's just a matter of unbolting, lining things up, uh, welding on the new cradles and uh, bolting it back together again. I've got the new cradle welded on and uh, it's important to get this cradle on uh, straight uh, as far as uh, horizontally straight in line with the one that's below it which we're no longer going to use but uh, in order for the axle to sit properly it has to sit flat on this uh, the springs have to sit flat on this cradle the axles have now been bolted back on below the springs and now it's just a matter of putting the tires on. Because the axles drop down further the wires for the electric brakes were too short I had to put in a splice here. You'll see here the axle is now bolted on below the springs. This clip shows you the new elevation for the trailer and uh, you can see that I'm well clear now of any obstacles I might go over. Okay my project's finished now. It's taken a couple of days to raise the trailer up by moving the axle from uh, underneath the springs to below the springs. And what it's actually done here is giving me, as you can see by the old mark here, up to the new height marked this before we started doing it and it's given me one two three four five six and a half inches clearance not bad that should do me uh, a lot better in the bush now and you can see here in this shot this is the difference between the height of our plumbing before the lift and now we've got a full six and a half inches clearance in addition to what we had here 
So I've got a full 15 inches clearance from the ground to the top of the bottom of the plumbing pipe. Shouldn't be a problem banging into anything with that now. And this final clip will just shows you the uh, final elevation of the trailer after flipping the axle. Now one caution is now you've raised the uh, center of gravity of the trailer so I have to make sure that I keep my load uh, weights down low at floor level and not load hot, heavy items up into the upper cupboards. That's just a caution on my uh, part and uh, just take it easy on the corners. Uh, as far as costs go I bought the new uh, saddles for the axles and I reused the U-bolts and all of the other hardware that bolt the springs on so basically it was under twenty dollars and I uh, completed this project twenty dollars and uh, two days of, uh, of labor on my part if you have any questions you can contact me through my website at raywhite.ca and I'd be glad to uh, help you out with your project or answer any questions if you run into trouble.